And the most important thing of all, before we get started, is that if you get caught hacking, make sure you do not tell them you learn it from this tutorial and you have no idea who is Hacker Loy. And they ask you, why is your browsing history showing Hacker Loy? Just so you have no idea, it came up on the recommendation. So now let's get started on the tutorial. So right in front of us, we already got a login screen. Now we can see, enter your credentials, B slash bot. But of course, we already found out a username who's going to log into this website. And we found it either from the dark web, from recently exposed databases of credentials. And we can look at, say, a login name, like, for example, Hackerloy. So I can enter Hackerloy. And the problem now is we have no idea what exactly is the password. So I can enter some random password, go ahead and click login. And look at the results right here. Okay, so we got a following. Invalid credentials or user not activated. Let's go ahead and do a right click copy on it and what i'll do now is go under terminal and what we'll do is go ahead and launch burp suite as our interceptor so this is going to allow us the ability to intercept all the requests and run a brute force attack against the website so now let's go ahead and close on the update all right so we are on community edition so let's go ahead and click next and go ahead and click start burp so now that we are starting our burp suite, all I got to do is go to the proxy tab and make sure the intercept is on. I'll go back to the browser, go to the top right corner on the foxy proxy, select burp suite. And now what we'll do is enter Hackaloy and enter the password view. All right, let's go ahead and click login. So here we have the interception and I can do a right click, okay, and send it over to intruder. And here is the scary part, okay, because it's really easy to run brute force attack using any of these interceptors so we have the attack target like the host the port number we have the positions all right so this is going to be an important place to take note of so we'll clear the security level as well as the php session id and what we are going to be targeting is actually the password field so let's go ahead and clear the login all right and clear the security level as well as form submit so once you clear all this, you see that there's a password view, okay? So now going under payloads, you can go ahead and look under payload options, click load, okay? And here we have 1000 common passwords. So let's go ahead and double click on that. And this will load up all the passwords right here. Okay, as you can see, we have 123456, password is password, 1234568. Hacker Loy is a cybersecurity professional. So you'll be thinking, okay, as a cybersecurity professional, I'm sure he's using some complex password. All right, so there's no way we'll be able to use commonly used passwords against him. All right, and that's the part where it gets really exciting because you think, all right, that he is a professional hacker, he would be using complex password, but you'll be wrong, all right? Reverse psychology 101. Let's go take a look at what is the password. So once you're ready, all right, go under options, all right, and scroll all the way down, and you will see this particular area called grab dash match. All right, so go ahead and clear all of this. Click yes to clear the list and enter the following. Okay, I'll paste it over here. So let's go ahead and paste it. invalid credentials or user not activated. All right, so this is the error message that we're looking for when we are actually injecting into the website with all of our payload options. So once you have that running, go ahead all right, and select add and flag results with response matching these expressions. Scroll all the way to the top on the top right corner and three Two, one, click start attack. All right, click OK. And there it is. All right, the attack is running right now. And you can see right here, I can go to the top left corner, click pause, because we got one peculiar result. Something is standing out right here, all right? It's not showing invalid credentials, as you can see right here. And instead, we're getting a different length of 578. So it is not an incorrect password. And of course, directly from here, we'll be able to find out the password of Hackaloy as quickly and as simple as that. And once I go back into the website, I can go to top right corner. Okay, I can turn off Burp Suite and I can do a refresh of the site. Okay, let's go ahead and do a resend and go under Hackerloy as the login field and enter the password to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click login. And that's it. All right, it's game over. We are in. We managed to get the password of Hackerloy. And now that I've shown you my password and my password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it is only fair that you also put your password in the comment section. All right, so go ahead and enter your password in the comment section so that I can help you review your password. So, once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. Well, like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.